Hi everybody, welcome to BI Land. Sometimes you want to find duplicates of a certain dimension in your table. It might be when you want to find an ID that causes problem because of duplicate lines, or it can be also an analysis you want to make. We can do this simply by using variables. A few years ago, I had made a video where I explained earlier function, arguably the most complex DAX function. With the introduction of variables in Power BI and analysis services, today we don't use this function anymore. However, learning it allows a really good understanding of row and filter context and generally how analysis services work. I recommend you watching that video and the video where I explain how to replace earlier with variables. Back to our video, as you guess, we are going to use variables and not earlier. Here I have oil production in different years in different countries. I want to know how many times each country code is repeated in this table. For example, if I take country code 12, I have 57 lines. Another country, it would be another number. To find the number of repetitions, I am going to use variables. Let's create a new column. Let's call this number of duplicates countries. To initiate a variable, we use var. The name of variable, I'm going to call it current, equals to simply ISO number, is the country code. Basically, for each line, it's going to give the ISO number, right? For example, this first line was 12, country code 12. Then return, calculate. I'm going to count the repetitions. So it's the count function. I'm going to count the ISO number. But I'm going to filter the table oil stats where the ISO number is equal to the ISO number of the line where we put in the current variable. Therefore, ISO from the table equals to the variable current that is just here. Close parenthesis. Basically, for each row, it gets the current ISO number then it filters the table oil stats by getting lines where the ISO number is equal to the current ISO number and counts it. Right? Hit enter. Now I have my repetitions for each country ID. If I go and filter on the ISO number 12, I will find 57 here. Or else if you want to see all of the IDs with 10 times repetitions, for example, I filter on 10. For example, if I take 508, here are the 10 lines. You have minimum repetitions and maximum repetitions. You might not use this column for your end publishing analysis. However, you will definitely come across situations where you won't immediately find the duplicates because maybe they are causing problem. For example, for a star schema, when you will need to have only one line in certain dimension, then this will come to your help. This way you will detect that line and proceed accordingly. For example, here I have a dimension table where I have the country code. I want to make a relationship with my fact table. But it's telling me that it will be many to many. I don't want that. Therefore, I need to go see which country code is causing problem. Here 
here my table. I'm going to create a new column. Let's call it duplicate. Variable current is equal to the ISO number from this table. Then return, calculate, count the ISO number. but filter where the ISO number is equal to the ISO number in the current row. It will go over the table and get the ISO number where it is equal to the ISO number that we are seeing in this current row. Now, if I filter on two, I see that this country code is the source of the problem. Therefore, I will go to the source of the data to see why I have two lines and try to fix it. This is a simple example. Obviously, this duplication is because of a mistake. Yet, in the real world, you'll need to maybe choose the best line among the duplicates, etc. Okay, basically that's it. Now you know how to get duplicates in your table, as I mentioned. Don't hesitate to watch my other videos on earlier and replacing earlier with variables to better understand rule and filter context. Please subscribe to my channel for the coming videos. Thank you and see you soon. Bye bye.